Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis, Big Boy Scribador from Filipino Martial Arts School. And now we're going to be showcasing something called uh, the intricacies of the simple, the simple technique, but the intricacies that comes with it called the parrying. Now, parrying is not something that most Filipino martial artists like to do, only because it requires really good footwork and really good timing. Most of the blocks that we, the most of the defensive moves that we do is about stopping the force, but parrying is actually the energy that's going with the energy or going with the force in that particular sense. So it requires a little bit more, a, a better sense of timing and a better sense of, of body positioning as well as spatial orientation. So most beginner fighters, we, we don't teach that to them first until they get a little bit more experience and they, they understand their body mechanics a little bit better. But what I love, what I love about parrying is that it does open up to different possibilities as far as the follow-up strikes is concerned. And today we're gonna to be showcasing that the simple yet the complex of, of, of parrying. So I have my student Lloyd here, he's gonna help us. Okay, so now we're gonna go, now usually with, with parrying, it's usually a largo range, meaning that of course, the range is right here. Now, right foot forward, sir. Now, my number one rule for defense is don't be there. So if he was gonna strike me, <clears throat> full extension, go ahead. Right, really aim for me. Boom, then he's gonna be, he's gonna be able to hit me with the tip of his stick. So because of my rule of the, my number one rule for defense is don't be there. When he strikes, I'm not gonna be here. I'm gonna try to get out of the way. I'm gonna try to get out of the way. I'm gonna try to get out of the way. So that's the basic portion of it. So in this particular drill that we're gonna be showcasing, we're just, he's just gonna do the X pattern. Now, the thing about the parrying is that, like I said, the most common blocks that we get if he was to strike is a stopping block. I'm stopping his energy, right? Again, strike. That's the stopping of the energy, right? So that's the most common beginner block that we teach us, right? The reason why, again, pairing is difficult is because now you have to learn how to shift your body here and then push it out this way. Here, push it out this way, and here, push it out this way. Now, if he was aiming a lot better, slow it down, slow it down for the camera. Slow it down some more, start again. So you're here, boom, you're getting out of the way. Boom, you're getting out of the way. So it's not just now, I'm not just standing stationary when he strikes. I'm just pushing out of the way and pushing out of the way. I'm actually coming in, strike again. I'm coming in and going out this way and coming out, just coming out this way. So now if you notice that my foot is now starting to move, he strikes again here, boom, and here. So that's where you start getting to pairing. Now, of course, these are just strikes, the X pattern strikes, okay? So he can actually strike low as well, strike, uh, either stab as well, stab here, here, and here, okay? That's why it's a little bit difficult because it does require different angles, but just like most blocks, right? So now, the one thing that we have to be aware of is again, timing and spatial orientation because if we go too soon, he starts to come in, oh, I come in too soon, then it's, it's now a different type of block. If I don't move out of the way, he strikes, oh, he's gonna hit me. So it's, it's an intricate, like a perfect timing balance kind of thing. So in order for him to do this, strike, I step out, then he comes in, strike, I step out, okay? So now, what can we do with that? So when we're going, again, largo range, I'm gonna close the distance and go to a quarto range. So when he strikes here, I'm stepping forward with my left and I'm striking one, two, three, sunkiti, reverse arco and stab. Okay, so let's try that again for me from this angle, here, stopping and checking here, Strike, 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 sunkiti, reverse arco, and stab, okay? Then if he was to come to the other side, here, this is my check, one, two, three, reverse arco, sunkiti, and stab as well, okay? Now, as far as after the pairing, what you do, it's, it's really up to you, it's really up to your system what you guys decide to do, but the reason why we're doing, when he strikes here, here, and I'm coming here, I'm striking this, it's for training purposes. In reality, slow it down, sir. He strikes here, I'm gonna come in closer and strike the hand. One, two, three. So I'm keeping him right in the eyes, reverse, uh, reverse arco, and stab. Okay, so now let's try that again. Here, lock in the hand, one, two, three, sunkiti, reverse arco, 
and stab. If he was to come from the other direction, here, try that again, please, sorry. Here, check here, and slice, 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 sunkiti, reverse arco, and stab as well, okay? So those are, the, those are like the basic things that we could do using the, the stick. But now how do we use this using the knife? Hold on and let's show that to you guys right now. 